Welcome. This is Jenkins Documentation Office Hours. It's the 10th of May, 2024. Thanks very much. Today's topics, weekly release, new LTS release coming the next week, migrating plugin documentation. We had a question raised by someone in the in the docs channel that I wanted to take on, contributor spotlight and version docs. And I think, Chris, for you and me, let's put that one up high here so that we cover it for sure. Any sure. other topics you want to be sure we put on the list? Um, should we talk about a bit about GSOC? Because like we do have a project that's loosely related to docs. That's a that um UI project. Oh, good. Yes, let's talk about it. All right. So statistics. So the stats site. Info. Yeah. Infrastructure statistics stats site project. Very good. Yeah, let's discuss it. Anything else you'd like to put on the agenda? No. Okay, let's start those then. Great, thank you. So info, weekly build 2.457 was delivered. Looks good. New LTS release happens next Wednesday. Thanks to Alex Brandis. Checklists available. The changelog is ported and or has been merged and is ready for release. Those are easy. Now, version docs project. Okay, this is a great story, Chris. Thanks very much. Docs.jenkins.io is visible to users. Yep. Looks good, too. It does. It presents very, very well. Now, there are still some, and I assume, I wanted to ask you the question. I assume you prefer issue reports to come to the docs, to this site, to this uh, GitHub repository, yeah. Is that where you would like them? Yep. And uh, we, we're we going to, we plan to um, update the website too. So it's like to get the latest version from uh, directly from Jenkins Dario with Pulse 2 Sorry, could you say that again? So you plan to update and describe more uh, for me. We want to update the info contained in the Jenkins uh, .io to uh and put it to a docs like we, we want to update docs.jenkins.io with the data from jenkins.io repo i see great so that so there is still a there is still an activity that bring the for instance okay now i'm going to show it to try to be sure i've understood what you said so on jenkins.io when i go to documentation installing jenkins there may <laughs> excuse me there may be new information in the Linux page or something like that. And that may yeah. not yet be visible in the new docs.jenkins.io page. And so that that activity needs to happen. Yep. And also the new design too, we have to uh, we have to do it because like, uh, I think again, added some new uh, CSS styling for some page, some parts of the site and we need to add that too. Okay, all right. So that good point. So uh, CSS styling, from Jan Farachik um, is needed. Um, content updates from the um, existing www.jenkins.io site. Yep. Good. Okay. And uh, I know that there are still some navigation issues. Um, for instance, the one that I did earlier, which one was it? I think I did this one. Yeah. So, but I think that's part of the Gatsby side, Gatsby piece, not part of the, not part of the version doc site, right? That was never intended to be versioned. Mm, yeah, I think, I think so, but I cannot see what, what you just did. Cause like, I think you were sharing the, 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 like the issues. Oh, thing. I'm sharing. Oh, wow. That's terrible. Am I sharing that's the wrong page, see. Chris? Okay. No worries. Hang on just a minute. So that that's, that's awful. So let's stop sharing. That didn't help at all because I'm supposed to share the right screen. So you should see, oh, I'm so sad. I've been looking at and showing notes from the entirely the wrong thing. Sorry about that. No Thankfully, the thing I was sharing is an, a disclosed security vulnerability, so I was not showing anything sensitive. Great. Yeah. So do you see my screen now with the... Yep, okay. All right. So let's look. So this is the page that I was showing that's looking so good. 
uh, yeah. showing and not showing. So installing Jenkins, Kubernetes instructions, Linux instructions. But if there were new information for Linux, for instance, and I think there probably is actually in some piece of this, it may not yet be in the in the new in the new layout. I think so. Yeah. So we have to update everything. Right. So we already have some scripts to do it automatically, but we we'll double check. We need to double check it because okay. I think from what I can recall, there are some limitations to what the script can do. So in case like the the like the if the path name is exactly the same for two of the new updates or updates uh, pages. And then we get into trouble, but ah. it's it 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 can be changed, updated, uh, and corrected manually. Okay, good. And are you accepting edits to the pages through the edit this page site? I assume you are. That if I were to submit this as a pull request, it would be at least evaluated. So so the edit this page is is an allowed way to submit a pull request, although. This, the original site, is still the official documentation. This is, as it says, currently being tested. This is in prototype. Yep. Great. All right. Very good. Anything else that you wanted to highlight for us on the version documentation site, Chris? Um, don't think so, but I think we have to work on, oh, uh, did you say there was a linkage issue before? Cause like, um, oh, right. I... Let me, let me, sh so, so the navigation bar at the top when displayed on docs.jenkins.io, if I go for instance, to sub projects overview, oh no, that worked community overview, I think is the one that gives a not found. Okay. So do yeah, you I... want bug reports for that? Or do you already know about those and I'm wasting your time giving a bug report? Or what would you prefer? Um, those, I think we already know because those are on the Gatsby side. But um, we, okay. have to, we have to like, um, we have to update the, the nav bar. Right. Well, and, and, and of course, there's only one nav bar for the entire site. Right. Yep. So, so we can't have a change to the nav bar, which forces us to the new site before the new site is really ready to go production. Or we could do an alias. We could add an alias to it. So or you should report it anyways, so we can act on okay. it. Okay. All right, good. Well, so I can, that I can do then. Good. All right. So, because here we've got, yeah, actually this is looking pretty good. Yeah. I mean, other than a relatively few pages that don't resolve. Nice. Okay, good. So I will I will submit those as as just issue reports. Great. Thank you. Okay. Anything. So let me make a note, um, Mark, to submit the issues he detected. Very good. All right. Thanks. Any anything else on version docs? It does look nice though, Chris. Good work. Yeah, it does. It Thanks does. Sir. All right, Google Summer of Code project. Chris, go ahead. So for Google Summer of Code project, we have one project that's loosely related to docs, which is um the the stats of Jenkins file site we revamp. So if we go to um. Yeah. Let's see, so stats is up top. Oh, I'm wait, on. we're implementing UI. Implement middle. Middle. Oh, oh, there it is. Right. Good. Okay. Very good. All right. Okay. Yeah. So you can see, like, um, if you go to a link, it's stats of Jenkins IO. Right. Here's the horror. Yeah. And now we pick we pick statistics in detail and our eyes bug out wondering what this is telling us and how this helps anybody and yes. Yeah. Yeah, so we are working on that one. So um I think we got the landing page designed and we we worked on that already. So uh, we'll move on to the other pages, but um I think the landing page is the easiest to implement. But um it currently has some responsiveness, but uh, we will need to work on it tooling wise a bit because like right now it's like um it's using CSS to do use media query to check like the size of the screen for whether it's mobile, 
tablet or desktop. So we have to, I think we, we, we better use something more sophisticated, like a MUI is use media web query for that. So um, use media query, sorry. Okay, so good. Yeah. Great. So, so the idea there is it will continue at the site stats.jenkins.io, but do you plan to put the top bar across it as well, or will it continue to be somewhat of an independent site because of its intense focus on Jenkins infrastructure? I think we should link it to, uh, we should have a link uh, in the nav bar to okay. direct to it, or maybe just like um, one of those hit, uh, one of those in the way ones inside say like um when nav bar items say it, it can be kind of like a documentation it can be added to documentation to tab so we can be added to one of these i think got it all right so that we we say hey here's here's somewhere in one of the pick lists there might be a thing maybe it's even in a well i don't know if it's an about topic or not that probably isn't a good choice for about is it Probably shouldn't be. Yeah, okay, but, but we do we do have infrastructure as a sub project, and we could certainly embed it into the infrastructure or embed a link to it under infrastructure somehow. Sure, we can do that. Yeah. All right. Excellent. So, and is there a place where people should go to look at the at the evolution, how that's how that's developing, etc.? What's what's the preferred location? We don't have one yet, but I will set one up with the contributor later this week or maybe next week. So uh, you can see a preview of what we are working on so far. Great. All right. So, and and will we see the first links in in the project page itself, like this one where we went before, or is it some, oh, oh, reference site? We've already got a reference site. Link. Oh, right. That's the original site. I see um, I haven't. I, I'm going to make a project page for this project. Okay. So GSOC. So right now it's not there yet. All right. I'll be Great. done this week. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. Anything else that you wanted to highlight on the infrastructure stats site project? Mm, it uses React, so we're using vid.js for it. Um, and uh, that's it. Great, thank you. And TypeScript, sorry. So instead of JavaScript, we're using TypeScript. Very good, thank you. And in terms of, do you plan to maintain it in the in the same repository? This. Or will it go into a, a different repository? Is that not yet decided? Not yet decided. Okay. So uh, we're currently using um, a repo uh, of the contributors uh, on GitHub account to, to, to do the uh, development first and we migrate it later. Ah, okay. Yep. So we already have a repo for it. Very that's good. Not, yeah, that's not on the Jenkins current way. Okay, so I'm going to put some more links here just so that we've got the stats.jenkins.io page. There we go. Okay, good. Thank you. Very good. And let's see, I should probably put that link into the top level thing. All right. Thanks, Chris. Anything else on that topic? Okay. Next topic I had was migrating plugin documentation from Wiki to GitHub. And the reason I had that on the list is because of this message that came in over, over the doc sig where Abdel Taif Aitbara asked, hey, I'd like to contribute to help do a migration of plugin docs from wiki to github and i thought well the first thing that this person will want is what project should they choose and i went through the exercise of trying to identify a project to choose and 
there are some complications hiding in that choosing process that mm -hmm. um, needs needs somebody like us to guide it. So, so you can see where I went. I started all the way at the top of the list. This is the, the plugin documentation migration progress page. Great that we finished over 1,100. We've still got 800 plugins to go, so we're not done. But when I scanned through this, I went through the top list and saw, okay, there's one that's not yet done, but the PR is open. So nothing a new contributor can help with. It needs to be reviewed and merged and released. Job import, again, okay, here's one, GitHub pull request. This one can't be fixed because it's hosted outside the Jenkins CI repository and the maintainer refuses to bring it inside or inside the Jenkins CI organization. So no, likewise, DT kit didn't look terribly interesting. So I kept going. This was the first one I found that might be a viable candidate and kept going, found, skipped several more because they didn't look terribly attractive and finally got down to this one that I'm actually a maintainer on. So, okay, there's one that somebody could help with. So mm -hmm. my thought was, all right, we could offer that, hey, here's one that that needs to be transitioned and tell the person, go ahead, do the do the steps because we know that Mark Waite has permission to, to merge it if if we get a change for it. What do you think? Does that feel okay to everybody? Any complaints or hey, why is there a better way to do it? Well, that sounds good. What what's troubling to me is that a contributor, a potential contributor who's looking at this list is gonna say things that say to do when there's reasons not you know, it's like doing something as a head and say, Mark's the only one who really knows what's ready if you want to do one of these, which is not a terrible thing. No, but but it, that's ex that is a what you just described, Meg, was exactly my concern because that's exactly what what I was worried about. If a new contributor says, "I'll just take the top one on the list," and they decide to work on it, they're actually not going to make progress. They're they'll have a terribly frustrating experience because mm -hmm. there are lots of other things that affect whether or not you can do this migration. And and the challenge there is those lots of other things change from day to day. So I'm not really willing to spend the time and energy to add the additional attributes to this thing or the additional parameters, which ones have a maintainer that might consider it, which ones um, are feasible. For me, I'm, I'm just not willing. So I thought, okay, I'm going to go through this this step and it's easier to do that once when asked than it is to try to keep it continually up to date right what about the, the ones that you like the one that the maintainer doesn't want to put it into or something where where you know there's a hard block what if you change the status to on hold or something like that yeah and, mark the ones that are known to be real problems right and and that's that's a viable, I'm just not sure how to do that with this report. It means I have to go ah. reverse engineer how this report is generated and add oh, that additional auto attribute. Generated. Oh. Right, of course. This is this is systematically maintained, but I'm not the maintainer of it. Uh-huh. So yes, I could do that reverse engineering work, but again, that's that's a lot of work, whereas reading through the list is actually not a lot of work. I can do that in a relatively few minutes. Right could file a bug on the report and saying that there's no way to mark something with salt. yeah but but then yeah. people will will grin at me and say well mark guess what you need to go figure out how to fix that and right. and i'll then say yes i'm not i i i'd be the one to do it but i'm not willing to spend the time right now right yeah and it's probably not i mean this is the first person that's shown up and wanted to do this and how long right exactly so it's not worth us doing a lot of extra effort Let's get them started and say, hey, here's yeah. a way you could help us. Here are and, several and this that person you could is, I mean, if they know anything about open source, they'd suspect that what he did was came and say, I want to do one of these. Anything right. you want to tell me before I go down a primrose path. So Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Cool. So this one is another one that I probably could 
adopt. But so thus far, I have found one. And I think for me, the test would be if the this interested contributor says, I'm still interested, I will point him to exactly point the person to exactly this JDK parameter plugin and say, that's one that I know how to how to assure that you'll have a good experience if you do it. Uh huh. Cool. Good. So I'm going to reply in that thread and let him know. Let's see, docs. All right. So reply. Whoops. Reply is a good plugin that needs documentation transition. And I am a maintainer. So can merge when you do do the translation transition. Good. All right, done. Now I apologize. I've got a hard stop on the on the on the hour here, my time. Are there other topics we need to discuss? beyond what we've got on the agenda. Last one I had was contributor spotlight. Meg, any other topics you wanted to bring? Um, I have one, but it can certainly wait. It's been waiting for years, um, but to discuss 4666 PR. Oh, okay. 46. Yeah. So that, well, let's but, actually, let's but go. At... But if you go ahead and we do that next week, that's just fine. Yeah. I actually finally went through and checked it out. Oh, you did. Oh, well then. I no, don't let's... even remember the history of all of it. Um, Cause I, I thought we had conflicts that I was supposed to resolve. I didn't have conflicts. Okay. Had a couple of open comments, which actually had been resolved. Okay, and good. Not, so I so I marked those as resolved. Good. Um, which leads us with just one comment from Roddick that it seems to move in the good direction, and I did um, update it to whatever. It was out of sync with the current, of course. Oh, you, but so that. you did. You merged with current. Yes. Oh, well, and, all and which I did a half an hour ago, but finally all the checks have passed, but it's not approved. But, and I don't even remember the history of this. There were a whole, there's a whole bunch of pieces of it. And it's like, I was thinking this was much bigger, but. Okay. Well, all right. So this, this is good. So you've got, you've been through, it's been through comments from Vadek. It's got comments from Hervé that are now resolved. So. Uh, all the comments have been resolved. We just need a review and merge then, right? I think so. I mean, you never know. I, you know, I'm the writer. I wish when they give a comment and I go in and say, I think I fixed this. Could you approve? I wish they'd come back and say, yeah, that looks good and resolve the conversation. But people don't do that. So. Well, let's, okay. But let's, we've got five minutes. Let's take a look at it together. Okay. All right. So, so here we have, as part of under the security chapter of the book, and you've added a new, it should be in the in the table of contents. So let's go look at it in the deployment. It is. I've got the preview is working now. I just perfect. All right. So if we look at documentation in the user guide, probably secure. No, no, it's no way. Under, to... It's under securing. Jenkins, it's a very oh credentials there. Credentials, there it is. Okay, good. All right. Okay. Five minutes to go. Yeah, yeah. perfect. This really is great. Or give yourself a minute break. So I mean, this is how many years old, so it's not like the sky is going to fall if it goes another week. Well, but but the other side is it'd be nice to have it merge. Okay, so we've got using credentials in the using chapter linked to that. We've got configuring credentials, and here is the securing Jenkins credentials chapter. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, or the credentials section of the securing Jenkins chapter. And Vadek's comments link to a DevOps presentation from 2019, and I went and looked at that, and it was it didn't have enough on it that was worth. Linking okay. to, we've got the point. So good. All right. Oh, this is really just avuncular stuff. Yeah, for me, I think this is ready to merge, Meg. I think we should just say, let's merge it. 
I well, see I'd no harm. To, I'd love to have it merged, but yeah, I think given given that you've resolved it, I'm going to say let's approve, and we are going to merge. Ooh, okay. Ain't no party like a merge party. <laughs> exactly. If somebody objects, tell them to call, contact me, and I'll open it. Exactly, email. and that's that's the right approach. There is no reason for us to not just. Go forward. That's excellent. Thank you very much for doing it. Okay. Well. All right. Thank you. So reviewed and merged. Anything else we want to review while we're here? I'm we're good. Not, I'm done. Yeah, we only have two minutes. All right. So let's go. go ahead and call ourselves done. Thanks, everybody. And recording will be available when I publish it. Okay.